Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for May 20th. I'm Philip Newman, back from a little bit of a break. Thank you to James Sinclair for filling in for a couple of puzzles and to Bill for recording a couple of videos. And we are solving Diagonal Outside Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid. And those clues give the digits that must appear in the first three cells. And the clues that Bill has given all have three digits. So it's telling us exactly which digits must appear in those three cells. You could have this constraint with, say, only two digits. And that would just say one and two must appear in these three cells, but not give a constraint on what third digit. Some of the clues have repeated digits, and that just means that digit has to repeat. Um, in those three cells. So this must contain two sevens. And those are the rules, and we're actually going to start with the repeated digits here because two of the cells in the first three are in the same box. And so if we need two sevens, one of them is going to have to go so four seven here. On this clue, this has to be a one because one repeats. On this clue, this has to be a three, both because the three repeats and because there's a one here. Keep not hitting the uh, the C to switch to center marks. Um, these are four and eight with the eight repeated. Those are the repeated clues. Now, let's look at this. These are one, two, three, all in the same box. But look at the effect that it has on this clue. This clue also needs a three, but now the three can't go in these two cells because we already have our three in this box. So this must be three, and these are four and six. These are seven, eight, nine. And these are three, five, nine, but the nine can't go in this box. So these are three and five. We have a three here as well, so that's five, three. The one and the three here gives us two. And the three here gives us one three. Okay, these are five, six, seven. So that can't be five. And these two cells now can't be seven. So this is our seven. And we get two and eight because of the eight here. The eight resolves four and eight. This now can't be eight or nine, so this is seven. Okay. These are three, four, and five. This can't be three, this can't be four. Uh, actually, this can't be seven and this can't be seven. So let's clean this up here, five, seven. Now this can't be five, so this is our four. And that's gonna give us seven and four here, six and four here. All right, and then here, we have five, seven, and nine, but the five can't go in these cells. So this is five, this is nine, this is seven. Five is going to resolve three and five here. The three resolves one and three, two and one. And we're just left with this pair that we can't resolve yet. So let's look across here. These are two, five, and six. And then in the box, we need one, eight, and nine, but the one can't go in these cells. So this is one. These are five, eight, and nine. And there's a 9 here. So this is 9, this is 8, this is 9. Uh, we have a 5 here. So 5 goes at the top. These are 1 and 6, which are resolved. From that 6, this is a 2. All right, down here we have 2, 4, 9. That's not 9, that's not 9. So this is our 9. These are 5, 6, 8. That one can't be five, but I think that's all we can do with those. All right, down here, we need a two, but there's a two there. So two has to go here. These are four, six. This is three. Uh, the nine here gives us eight, nine. That means eight's not in these cells, so it must go here. Six is in one of these cells, so this is four, six in that order. These are 1 and 4, and this is 9. We have 7 to complete the column. These are 2 and 3. These are 1, 6, and 9, and we know the order of those as well. 
These are now six and seven. We don't know the order of those. And these are four, five, eight. Place the eight. All right, I think that's all we can do without going into the central box. So let's look for some additional restrictions. I see ones, we're missing one of the ones and it has to go here in the central box. Uh, three, yeah, so three has to go here. Actually, at this point, let's look at this row. These are four, five, and eight, but we have a four and eight in this column. So this is five, four, five, this is eight. So six and five, five and six here give us two, six, five. The missing digit here is seven, resolving six and seven. Uh, these are two, four in the column, but we have four there. Four, and to finish off, we need a six and we need a four. And that is the solution. Uh, let us know how you found that in the comments. And it's good to be back. <laughs> so I will see you in a few days. Uh, until next time.